Good morning everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 15. Oh, I'm so glad it's the weekend. So I had a good night's sleep. Excuse my wonky eye, I don't know. I think I might have got a little bit of soap in it in the shower, so it's a bit red. Should calm down over the day. Um, so yeah, I, we're not going up to port today. It is just so freaking humid. We've got the air conditioning on, that's why everything's so dark. It's just, oh, I don't deal with humid very well. The place where we used to live, it used to get to over 50 degrees in summer. Well, our thermometer on the veranda that was in the shade, mind you, used to only go to 50 degrees. And there was quite a few days in summer where it was just way past the 50 degree mark. So God only knows what the temperature actually really got to out there. But it was dry heat out there and it definitely doesn't feel as hot as it does here. I mean, it doesn't feel hot here, but it's just that sticky humid i'm not used to it anymore i used to love the humid heat before but oh I'm getting too old for that shit now <laughs> so the kids are gonna make some nice breakfast for everyone today so that will be good and today i basically wanted to update my planners and get my planners all organized but i will i will show you what i'm up to with my planners. I was actually waiting for my Planners Anonymous kit to come, which has just arrived yesterday. And I'm gonna do a proper unboxing and everything of that, but I'll just quickly show you a little sneak peek because this is pretty much what I'm gonna decorate next year's planner with. I just love it. Let me turn you around. Have a look at the color scheme in that. It is just so pretty. I'm not going to show you the whole thing because I'm going to do a proper unboxing. But um, yes, yeah, so I want to start planning my, doing, uh, decorating my planner and getting that all ready for next year. Wow, so look at this, what I just got made for me this morning by these two lovely kids. Oh, thanks, it, kiddies. You know? Like we had a choice. <laughs> you did. I didn't make anything. Oh, you guys are so good. You forced a, us to. And you threatened <laughs> us that you'll take away our Christmas presents. <laughs> I did not. You said you'll kick us out of the family if we didn't. <laughs> as long as you clean it all up too, though. No. <laughs> oh, thanks, kiddies. You're the best. The person who cooks doesn't clean. You clean. I always cook and clean. No, we always clean and you cook. Oh, look at that. These are so good. I'm the worst vlogger ever. I just missed all the sirens. But apparently Santa has arrived to our little town. And all the kiddies are excited. The dogs were howling. The horses were all excited, wondering what the hell's going on. <laughs> there he is. What's going on, doggers? What is it? Ah, oh, I remember when our kiddies used to get excited for that. Our little small town in Boomai used to have Santa come come on. My husband actually used to be the escort in the police car. He used to arrive on a Harley. <laughs> what is it, Duckers? What is it? <laughs> Kitties, they love me. Look at our Duckers. Get a girl a horse. You never have to worry about boys or drugs. She only loves the horse and she's got no time for drugs. <laughs> he just wants his dinner. You? Do you want some love? Do you want some love? Oh, little guy. Yeah. Oh, I love you. I love you. It's cooled down now. Nice and cool. Yeah. Cool little guy. Too much love. He 
you just sit here getting love all day? Oh, and what I am going to add to today's video, I'll actually add it here while I'm talking because a few, a few of you guys requested it. I'll put in a couple of photos of me dressed all in my goth <laughs> outfits that I used, that I wore like uh, back in the day. So I'll insert a couple of photos that I've found on my computer. I'll have to have a look for the ones where I was doing karate because uh, I think that was before digital cameras back then. So I think I'll actually have to pull out the physical photos from the albums because I don't think I've got any anything on the computer as far as when I was doing karate. Hey guys, well, <laughs> I didn't do much vlogging today, but I tell you what, I did have a very relaxing day. I pretty much just lay on the lounge and watch some YouTube videos all day, believe it or not. Like I did, I mean, I did a bit of cleaning and did a bit of washing, but that was pretty much it. I just had a really nice relaxing day and I was supposed to be updating my planners and I didn't even bother doing that. But I feel, I don't know, I just felt really, I just wanted to have a rest and do nothing. So um, yeah, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> which meant for a pretty boring day for you guys but I just thought I'd answer a couple of questions a couple of you left some questions in the comments of the previous video uh, or the one which one was it now wasn't the last video I've just uploaded the one before that on my drive home um, now I'm not sure if you wanted me to mention your names or anything maybe I'll just say the first name of the person who like asked the question so the first question I got was from Lisa and she asked uh, what are the names and the ages of our dogs uh, with they're both brothers um, I'm gonna do a whole video on the dogs uh, in the new year I did one of our cat like introducing our cat and I was hoping to do like the dogs and the horse pretty shortly after that but yeah life got in the way and that sort of never happened. So I'm going to be doing a whole video on the dogs and a whole video on the horse and how we sort of got them and, um, you know, a bit about, pretty much a bit about them and stuff like that. Same way I did with Emily the cat. But uh, the dog's names are Chaos and Bandit. They're both brothers and they're about, how old are they, Mike? Are they five years old this year, the dogs? about five, five yeah know. there were five this year so um we got them when they were about 10 weeks old and yeah but like i said i'll expand on that and um i'll do a whole video on them in the new year i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing this right but uh it looks like it might be Dayfu. Maybe. I'm not sure if that's correct. I apologise if I haven't pronounced that correctly. Uh, they asked, are the dogs allowed in the house? Uh, they're generally outdoor dogs. We do occasionally, we did, I mean, they don't come in the house on a regular basis. Sometimes in winter, uh, we would have them in the house for a couple of hours. Once we finished dinner and cleaned up and we're just sort of sat relaxing watching TV, we'd have them in the house with us uh, for a couple of hours before we went to bed and then we'd put them back out again in the in their kennels. Um, that was during winter. Not every night, I mean, you know, maybe a few times a week. They, they generally come inside and after about an hour they get restless and they want to go outside anyway. So they're not that comfortable inside and plus they can't really like walk around comfortably on the wooden floors it's too slippery for them so yeah they're generally not really indoor dogs um summertime especially where we used to live it used to get over 50 degrees out there and i mean they're huskies they're used to below 50 degrees you know like minus 50 degrees so we would often have them inside uh during summertime up uh, nearly most days i would say um, just because they, it was way, way too hot for them. But here where we are now, it's quite mild. So um, it's often cooler outside than it is inside, like especially at night time. So we don't generally have them in. Um, and plus, because we've got our cat inside, uh, we have to lock the cat in a room for them to come inside as well. So yeah, it's generally the cat's domain is inside and the dogs are outside. But I mean... 
they do come in occasionally, but they're, they're not inside dogs. They prefer to be outside. Um, one other question I got from Laurie was how far do you drive to work? So it takes me about 45 minutes to get from our house to work, which is in Port Macquarie. I think it's about 60 k's drive. So it's all along the highway, which is like a nice, it's a really nice run actually. There's never any traffic and it's just a nice easy drive. Um, but yeah, it is It is quite far. I mean, like if you're living in Sydney, 45 minutes to get to work is nothing. But out here, most people actually live in port that work in port. So it's basically a five minute walk for them. But um, yeah, so about 45 minutes it takes me to get um, to work. Um, and one other question I got was from Melissa is, why did you start YouTube? Um, I can't think exactly why or what made me start I know I wanted to share because I, I, I did a lot of like my kids um, face painting and stuff like that whenever they had anything on at school like book week or anything like that I do like either their face painting or makeup or make their costume or, or something like that or you know their Easter hats and all of that sort of thing and um, a lot of people said oh you know you should like I don't know, put, put it online or something like that or, you know, show people how to do it. And I think once we moved out into the bush, I was watching quite a bit of YouTube um, online. And, yeah, I think I just got into it then, to be honest, like just to be able to share, like, my creations, I guess, um, online. Because it, it mainly started with me doing furniture makeovers and different craft projects and that sort of thing. So yeah, you'll see probably my very first videos are more like DIY craft projects and most of them were furniture makeovers which were getting all the furniture that we currently had um, kind of updating it so that it was going to match into this new house because even once we moved out there we knew we, the house we wanted to build and all that sort of thing. So I started um, getting all the furniture ready so that it would actually go in the new house. Um, and also, uh, I guess, just to document the journey of us living out there. I mean, I haven't actually done many videos out, like, while we were there, but I've got a few... I've got videos of the times when we were there that I'm actually going to put in a video in the in the new year as well, like, just showing what our life was like out there and, and all that sort of thing. So that will be coming up in the new year. Um... But yeah, I think I, I mainly started YouTube just to, like me, on like I'll be like completely honest, when I first started YouTube, like when I decided, yeah, I want to start putting videos on YouTube, I thought, oh, this is going to be awesome. I'm, you know, going to make so much money doing stuff that I can, you know, just do at home. I won't need to work. Um, yeah, that really quickly, that idea <laughs> very quickly got squashed once I realised that you don't make any money on YouTube. So yeah, my, my whole um, goal at the beginning was that I was going to become a millionaire on YouTube. But um, yeah, <laughs> now I just do it for the love. <laughs> but yeah, no, so that's pretty much why I started YouTube, just to be able to share um, different projects that I do with other people and um, different ways that I did things, um, share them with other people. That's basically it. Um, I think they were the only questions I had that I could see up until doing this vlog. Um, I also just want to put a bit of a disclaimer in about yesterday's vlog. Like all that screaming and yelling between me and Jesse. like, I mean, I had a comment. I think someone was thought it was very aggro or whatever. Like that was all in good fun. Like that wasn't serious yelling by all means. Like the camera will definitely get shut off once the serious yelling starts. So I hope you guys didn't take that to be that was a whole aggressive screaming match because nah, that was definitely all just playful in good fun. So yeah, I just wanted to put that out there just, just so you guys know. Um... So, yeah, I think what I might do is just do uh, the advent calendar today. Now, we didn't end up going shopping because I was just really way too lazy. 
Um, but I think the kids really want to go tomorrow. So we'll probably go tomorrow regardless. I've had my relaxed day now um, and pretty much everything's done. So we'll, we'll go. I'll take them a trip out tomorrow to port. Um, so, yeah, let's do the advent calendar. So today, what, oh God, what day are we on today? 15? 15. Jeez. Okay. It still smells really nice, this calendar. So there's obviously still some nice smelly stuff in there. So day 15 is right here. And we have... It says, go veggie today. Try eating meat-free one day every week. There you go. All right, what have we got today? A born lippy lip gloss, strawberry lip gloss. Wow, doesn't that bring back teenage years? I might give this one to my daughter because I'm definitely... I think I'm definitely past the strawberry lip gloss phase. It smells nice though, actually. It smells quite like, like real strawberry rather than the fake strawberry. So I will sign off here, guys. I hope you had a lovely Vlogmas Day 15. And I will see you tomorrow. And I think the kids are going to be decorating a gingerbread house tomorrow. So that should be interesting to say the least. <laughs> See you later guys, take care.